Hey guys! Cheers! Yum. I love when my skin is like super oiled up like this right now. Um, because it looks like it's in really, really good condition. Like, I feel like my skin looks, there you go. My skin looks a lot better when it's super, oil. I mean, I think everyone's skin looks a lot better when it's like nice and moist. I don't, I don't know why people don't like that word. I don't get it. Like, nice and hydrated. Let's put it like that. I am doing Lyft and Postmates today. Yo, y'all. I know I have been slipping on my, slipping on my slacking, on my pimping, on my vlogging. Um... So, your girl has a problem, like a real live shopping addiction, shopping problem. I also do Airbnb. So, like, Airbnb essentially, if managed correctly, pays the rent. Like, I literally make, so my rent is cheap, it's $7.75 um, plus utilities, so probably $900 total. But the way that my life is set up, the way that I spend money is just ridiculous. Like, literally, I spend money like I'm rich. Like, I'm like, oh, I want to go to so and so. I'm gonna buy a ticket, and that's what I do. Anyway, so when the money's not managed correctly, I end up short on rent, which makes absolutely no sense because I make enough money to pay the rent. But the thing is, if I don't do Lyft or Postmates or some other job to, you know, some other way to bring an in income, hold on, I'm picking up McDonald's for somebody right now. Hello. Good, how are you? Thanks. At this McDonald's, they um, bought, they have two drive throughs right? And one of them is closed. Instead of putting like the orange cones in front of the uh, closed drive through they knocked over like a, a cart to like, it, it looked like something happened. It looked like somebody was trying to wheel something out and the cart fell over and they just left it like that. But no, the drive through was closed, so they put it there. So, yeah. Resourcefulness, I guess, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, look guys, my hair's growing back. Like braids are clutch like protective styling is the only way that I have found to maintain my length of my hair like other people say oh do this oh do that twist toes braid out but I have high porosity super spongy um hair my hair is always dry like and, and, but when I but the crazy thing is when I keep it in a protective my nails look like crap I just this is why I don't do my nails and obviously I get sidetracked so easily no but when I um keep my hair in a protective style and take it out like I had it in braids for a, a month I think I had it in for about a month and it still feels moisturized versus if I try to do braid outs twist outs my hair is like oh no like that dry by the end of the day like extremely dry so I like to make sure so I need to make sure I keep it in protective styles and I take it out because my hair is itching like crazy and I, am I the only one like when my hair itches my whole body starts to itch I feel like I look like a fluff like I'm over here like scratching like a psycho because my hair itches and it's been it's, that's something that's been happening to me for years but uh, that's also probably in my head so I had to take the braids out but I didn't wash my hair um it just I don't know I just think the extra hair was making me itch I'm gonna wash it tonight because oh he's in good shape mm -hmm. I love a sorry I love a diesel built man this guy's in great shape ow let me show y'all how to zoom this zoom is so slow this is so creepy right now. But he is in great shape. Ow, where you going? The perks of working from your car. You can be a goofball. No, but um, but yeah, back to the story. So yeah, I took my hair out. It's growing nicely. I'm able to put it in a puff. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, you'll see that my hair was really short a few months ago. And you'll probably also see that I had it in braids for months. And this is the result. So I took the braids out. My cousin's making a wig for me. I'm gonna try this wig thing. You know, I've never really been into sew-ins and just like extensions. Um, the only extensions I've ever done are braids. So I'm going to try the wig, the wig life, and see how it works. A bob wig for me, and I'm gonna just keep my hair literally washed and braided underneath that. Like, and another thing, I think people, some people like literally wear wig. Like my sister's hair is so so long. Her her, her hair grew super long in like a couple years. But I don't know what I don't know her secret. But what to, to me the, the the secret to maintaining your hair underneath that is moisture, um, and like whenever I get my hair braided, I use deep conditioner. I mean, like just like with my skin, I have dry skin and dry hair, so I only use deep conditioner on my body. Period. Hello. 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 Go into the south side, get your hair by. 
actually let me really pay attention y'all this is this is a bad idea i use deep conditioner on my hair i use the shea moisture deep conditioner um a high porosity one works freaking miracle it works great on my hair and that's what keeps my hair moisturized um under those braids and also i like to use i found a brand based in georgia hey i love this state that makes whipped shea butter and it smells so good about mango butter and coke i think it's like cocoa shea butter something like that from this brand called purity um it's perfect good consistent good consistency nice ingredients good for my hair so um what i do is i'll put the deep the, 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 i put the deep conditioner in there and twist it up and then i put the shea on top of it the shea the whip shea butter on top of it to seal in the moisture you know that like the lock method the good oil cream spot like a braid serum last night y'all i had you can tell i haven't vlogged in a while because i'm just like chatty kathy over here um i bought a um a braid serum from shea moisture last night and i'm gonna start using that when i put my braids back in but yeah so i'm excited like i'm i'm this 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 is i'm really tr attempting to grow my hair out this time like i want my hair to be longer than it was when i was younger when i was younger i had i don't know like bra strap length hair that's long as my hair has been when i was younger and then this evil witch <laughs> cut my hair off when i was in fifth grade I went to hair cuttery and this lady was jealous and she cut all my hair off. Fifth grade graduation, I'll never forget it. I went in there with long, luscious hair and she told me it was damaged, I had to cut it out. So she cut like literally all my hair off and I was just sitting in the chair, seeing my hair fall as a little fifth grader. Oh, this is when I was very quiet. So I was just like, what is going on? I, I remember the hair falling like, what the blank is going on? I couldn't figure it out. But anyway, I left there bald, like hair to my ear and I haven't been able to get my hair to grow back to the length it was since then. Um, Probably because I started doing my own hair and then I went natural somewhere in there and I wanted to dye and cut and all the hair trends that was going on. So this this color right here, first time I dyed my hair in literal years. Since maybe sophomore year in high school. Anyway, I'm done rambling. I'm gonna take you guys on my day today and show you what it's like to be a postmate, postmate and a um, Lyft driver. Well, my best friend kind of reminded me because I was just like, what am I gonna do with myself? I'm doing postmates and lifts, like, do I want to do real estate or something like that? Anyway, Rambo, my friend reminded me that I like literally have four streams of income. I was like, you're right. I didn't even think about it like that, but she's right. That's an interesting thing or an interesting way to put it. I mean, doing these, these contract jobs does make you an entrepreneur, but the fact that I don't know how to manage money is making me a crappy entrepreneur right now. And I'm literally, like being, being honest, being 100% honest with you guys, I need to make like $150 today so I can go buy some more clothes. Is that? stupid yeah i know it is but it's cool it's all right hey city look can you see the city The cops came and said there's no skating here. Y'all, Atlanta is such an interesting place. I lived here for over a year now, and these kids are never in school. I just dropped off um, a delivery to this lady um, on the south side. Meet me on the south side. And she opened the door, and her kids stand at the door. I'm like, these kids, these are school age children. These are not like little babies. Look. Look, you're, you're the idiot. This is what happens when you drive. People, people get attitude. Sorry, I'm trying to drive and vlog. I'm the idiot. Okay, the kids are always outside playing. I'm like, it's Tuesday, 10 o'clock. Why, why, why are you home? Shouldn't you be like learning something? Let's go. Virginia, they don't play that. I feel like I was in school every day. Even on Saturdays, no, I'm playing. We, we didn't go to school Saturday. The lift, navig the lift navigator lady, she's hilarious. She goes navigating to pick up Michael. Look at how that spelled. The guy's name probably is Michael, but um, the fact that she can pronounce that right when it's spelled like Michael's known to spell, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, I think that's how you spell Michael. Um, she just say, navigate to pick up Mikel. Like, she pronounced she, all, all types are wrong. She is funny, girl. You funny. You funny, girl. Why is there always a story to tell? Now I have a whole other story. I picked somebody up. Picked the ride up. I was like, crap, I don't have any gas. Especially because I had to go, um... I was taking guy 10 miles because I'm not about to be driving out here with no gas. So I went to just, you know, first gas station I saw. That can be a normal gas station experience. Get to the gas station. I'm like, crap, I don't have any money on this card. I'm gonna use my other, my other card. Do I have money on that card? Y'all, being irresponsible sucks. Like, it really, it, like, 
it's just it's just really stupid it's like really becoming an adult and you start to realize like damn yo, i can't spend all my money on clothes anymore i have other stuff to pay for you idiot i'm like oh i don't have any money for gas at all crap 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 i was like wait thank goodness I'm, my parents are still enabling me at 26 years old she there's money in my other cars so i could go out use this to get gas the way a lift works is you can like you do a ride you can get paid right then you do a ride you can literally transfer the money to your card and your account right then and there so i was like crap i haven't even completed a ride i can't even do that so i um and so i was like crap okay at least at least i have money on this other card i'll use this other car and i'll get the gas that way wait i had to go straight so confusing to be honest i didn't spend all my money on clothes if you follow me on instagram you see i take i post photos a couple of times a week not a couple times a week a couple of times a day um so i pay my photographers to shoot and i also um do video stuff too so i have pretty much i have like a really big backlog of video projects that need to be edited just because laziness poor time management is the number one reason poor time management and just like getting frustrated and overwhelmed with the amount of stuff I have to do and the little bit of time I have in the day I haven't completed a lot of video projects so I paid an editor to um, take some projects off my hands so pretty much I the money that I spent I honestly in all honesty I did buy some clothes but I also just paid my photographer and I also just paid an editor so therefore my account is at zero dollars probably in the negative not by much just a little bit becoming an adult is hard I went to the gas station and the gas station was all effed up as in once I realized once I realized I didn't have money on the card I was going to use my other card I inserted that card and the freaking card machine doesn't work the credit card reader didn't work I had to go into the gas station I'm gonna finish telling you I'm gonna start after I pick this lady up okay bye <sighs> I have a love hate relationship with long rides that was that ride was like 30 minutes maybe longer i think the love hate comes in where when i'm having to be on the interstate for a bunch of miles and i'm driving past trucks atlanta is one of those port cities so there's freaking trucks everywhere and it's so annoying anyway everything annoys me if you know me it's not even that i'm annoyed i just like yeah i i, I, I guess it is kind of like annoying i don't know I'm annoying. Everyone's annoying. Anyway, back to my story about the gas station rent. So, get to the gas station after I realized, oh, I'm broke. I don't have any money for gas, but I ha literally have somebody in the back of the car right here. Like, I have to take this guy somewhere. I got 43 likes. Oh, what? Was it one person? Yep. Yeah, after I realized that I have to get gas because there's somebody in my back seat, so I have to take this guy somewhere. Um, the gas pump that I'm at is not accepting my card, even though there's money on this card. I'm like, what the blank is wrong? So I go inside, and they're like, oh, just tell me, just um, the pump that you parked at is diesel. I'm thinking, I don't think it's diesel, but okay, if you say so. And then he said, just put, just, just charge the card, and then tell me what pump you're going to. I'm thinking, I'm not doing that. No. I'm pump eight, and somebody else drives up to pump eight. They're going to be paying for pumping my gas. Too much of a fiasco. So I was like, I'm not doing that. Forget it. So I walked out, and then I drive to a different pump because he told me the pump that I was at was diesel. I drive to a different pump, try my card again, and it's still saying, please see cashier. I'm like, what the F? Now I'm on the opposite side of the gas station. I try to go through the door that's on that side. Of course, that door is locked. It's just funny how it's always like little things that just nip at you. So, um, the freaking door is locked. I have to walk around the gas station to get to the other side so I can then um, pay for the gas that I need. So I go back inside. I'm like, what's wrong with your credit card machine? It's just not working. And the guy's just like, just, just, you know, just tell me how much gas you know, I want pump. So I told him t um, $10 on the pump that I was at. I was, just, I was just trying to put some gas in the car. I always fill up. I'm about, I'm about to fill up my gas tank now. But I was just trying to put something in the car so I can get this guy going. So $10 on pump four. Let's do it. So he's he um clears it and i hear him saying um oh he's on the phone with somebody talking about how i guess somebody came to do, do, do a service for them yesterday and ended up messing up their credit card machine i'm like oh okay well you could have said that then i was irritated for no reason yeah it was a great way to start the day but i just had a good ride so that's fine but yeah i like to share share stories with you guys as the day goes by it's just funny how like things happen you're like oh everything's happening to me but it's not just you <laughs> Now I'm in, where am I at? McDonough, McDonough, Georgia. Middle of nowhere. That's the funny thing about driving for a lift. It should take you all the way nowhere. This girl, I picked the girl up, and I guess, her, I don't know if it's her brother, her son, somebody. I picked this girl and little boy up. Again, I guess they're out of school today. I don't know. Took them 30 minutes out of the way to McDonough to get her nails done. I hope she lives over here. Cause I'm like, I know you're not coming over here to get your nails done, girl. Maybe she got a boo out here, who knows? This is me making up stories, y'all. Okay. I'm gonna get gas. Talk to you later.
you guys probably can tell I changed my hair. I had on that, every, every time we try to do that little cute bandana thing, it always gives me a headache. And I, I don't know if I have a headache because I'm overthinking or because I had on the bandana. Now that I think about it, probably because I had on the bandana. You know it's really strange? Whenever I'm already kind of stressed or like, life is stressful, whatever. Adulting is stressful. But whenever I'm already particularly stressed, I feel like I end up driving through the hood where everyone's stressed. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm not kidding. I'm so serious. Like, the whole day, sometimes it'd be spent driving through, like, the more hood part. I don't know how, how else to put it other than that. Um, this one lady was telling me how she was pregnant and she, she had on nursing scrubs, but she said she works for a company that doesn't give maternity leave. I'm like, what kind of medical profession does not give med um, maternity leave to pregnant women and I feel like I you end up taking on other people's stress too when I when you're already stressed like just the idea of stress in general stresses you out so more stress as in other people's stress just adds on top of what I'm already worrying about but then I swear I have angels like I think we all do but I really just look out for them um, and I believe they look out for me. You know, I also do Airbnb and I just got a request. Someone's gonna stay in June. Because I really was worried about June because in June, um, I, I was so, to break it down, I was worried about paying my rent for June because I'm gonna be gone half of the month. This is, again, the things that I do. I just like, again, the way I spend money, just very sporadic. My sister and her best friend um, going out of town for, going to Portland, I'm gonna do a vlog on it. Going to Portland for, um, their graduation and I invited myself <laughs> and they said I can come and they approved my invitation so I'll go with them to Portland and I'm also um, after we leave Portland I'm going to see my best friend in Arizona and stay with her until June 12th so pretty much half the month from I'm leaving the end of May May 31st until June 12th I'll be out of Atlanta I haven't been able to find a cleaning a cleaning service that's like reasonably reasonably priced I can't pay $200 a day to have them flip beds when people are staying for a day or two so I'm pretty much I have it set up now so where hopefully some someone will rent it out um, for at least a week while I'm gone um, but if not, I'm not renting it out at all because I can't afford to have someone clean it up. That being said, and since Airbnb pays the rent, if I'm not going to be um, driving, actively making the money, then I'm worried about how I'm gonna pay the rent. But long story short, I think I just got a request for someone to stay for um, pretty much the time I'm back until July. So that will, and then the way Airbnb works is you get paid after the person checks in. So if someone does stay for a month and they check in the middle of June, I'll get the money before the end of June. I'll be able to pay it off. Even though, I mean, I'll be able to pay it off, period. Um, after I get back, I'll be able to drive and make the money and pay it off, whatever. But I just, I'm just, you know, kind of tired of living hands to mouth. And again, I say that in one breath, but then in the next breath, I book trips. Like, I'm going to Portland, um, scrambling to get money. I'm also going to Ireland. But I'm not going to Ireland until the end of... Well, actually until January, until next year, beginning of next year, but I had to pay for the Groupon now. I wanted to go. So I don't know, I just, I just, stop saying I don't know. That's a really bad habit. I'm just really trying to get better at um, managing my money and managing my stress levels. Like I really wanna go take a walk, but I'm like, I know I need to be driving, so I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go pick up this food for someone. And then I'm going to um, go to Whole Foods, because again, my diet, I need, I'm, I'm trying to do better with my diet. I need to go buy buy some groceries today so I can make like some soups and stuff. But yeah, in the meantime, in between time while I'm driving, I'm just gonna go to Whole Foods and end up on a different side of town. Cause again, I can't, like I understand people got the struggles and whatnot, but I, I, I can't be taking on, I, like energy is very real and I can't take on someone else's energy right now. I have my own crap to worry about. <laughs> All right, back to the drive through question time like question of the day or whatever comment of the day how do you deal with stress in the moment are you a type of person that freaks out like when somebody tells you something some bad news or like something's happening to you do you like instantly freak out and then figure it out or do you are you calm like do you have a calm approach to figuring things out yeah just just curious would you mind, baby? I think I'm gonna do real estate. I think I'm gonna get into it. Like, because it's another job. Something about me is I prefer to work like independent of other people. <laughs> I don't know how, how to even put that, but I'm a very independent person. Let's just, let's just put it like that. And I feel like real estate is something I 
know I would be good at because I'm good at selling things. Um, I'm into real estate, like it's, a, it's an interest of mine. And I also want to buy a house like next year, somehow, sometime. Um, so I feel like it aligns with all of my immediate and my long-term goals. Whereas doing this, as far as driving, of course, was never a long-term goal. It doesn't really align with anything. It's just like a get money thing. Why do people, in particular, people that are struggling, um, it's not why, I mean, I, I understand and I know why, but it's just kind of crazy that people that are struggling literally sometimes will choose an immediate gratification um, option as opposed to something that's gonna take a little bit more, um, well, no, choose an immediate gratification, not even immediate gratification, I, well, the, okay. So the reason for that, that I've come to realize is because when you're underwater, you're just trying to figure out how you're going to not drown. That's the reason why people that are in struggling situations sometimes make decisions that are just temporary. St decisions that only fix the problem temporarily. I think that it becomes a problem when your short term thinking clouds your long term goals, if that makes sense. So like everything you're doing in the short, short term has, that doesn't align with what you say you want long term and that's also why I've been spending so much money that I don't have on on things that I can't afford right now ie well clothes yeah because I like I'm into fashion I'm doing I'm trying to you know get my fashion influence together or up but as far as like video stuff as far as spending, spending money on photographers and spending money on um, editors editors when I'm not making any money back. I also really really like to divvy up projects Like I don't like to be that person that oh, I have to do everything my hands have to be on everything because again If you are not making enough money to sustain Yourself and you're trying to do it all how, 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 how are you ever, how are you ever going to get anything accomplished? Does that make sense? So if you're if you if you know that your project project oh, I hate people said that if you know if you know that your project um, needs or has positions, let's put it like that, has positions available for 15 people and you're trying to do it all yourself, you might be able to do it. You probably will be able to do it, but think about how long it's gonna take you and how much quicker and more efficiently and probably effectively you could have gotten it done if you hired outside help or even um, trusted some of that, some of the weight of some of that project. The, uh, I just drove past my stop. All right, guys, I'm done rambling for now. I will talk to you later. I'm so excited to get some like good food. I'm going to Whole Foods when I leave here. I'm back in the city, thank God. <gasps> I'm on the, I'm on, man, I'm back in the city. Oh shit, where? Oh, I hate going to apartments. I absolutely hate going to freaking apartments. <clears throat> made it, made it, made it. Camera's being weird today. Nom, 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 nom. Cholula. Mac, kale, onions, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower rice, asparagus. I forgot what that's called. Cabbage salad and it's chicken under there somewhere. I'm 